Let's look into the WLAN configuration implementation now. Okay, so let's look into the configuration. We have about 10 slides of command that we need to go through. Uh, no worry about this because all these command will be very new to you, very foreign. Uh, I'm going to show you one demonstration on how to configure the AP and the AC and the switch. Okay, so for now, uh, just look into what are the command that are relevant in our configuration. So the first step we need to configure is the AC as a DHCP with an option 43. Uh, the option 43, as mentioned, is to determine where is the IP address of the AC. The command for you to do that is the option code. Okay, then we have this uh, option 43 and uh, we configure our DHCP. Now, after we configure the address pool, uh, then we configure the WLAN. So first we need to go to the WLAN view. So once inside the view, this is where I mentioned you need to configure your regulatory domain profile and by default is China and uh, this is our country code okay so these are the few command that you can do on the AP continue on the next command here we need to configure an AP group name so you need to define a group create an AP group and enter the AP group view so once you are inside the AP group view then you configure the regulatory domain profiles this is where once you create a profile the profile is inside the group you can reuse the group rather than you type uh, the uh, domain every time the step here is to configure the source interface if you remember the cat web we can use the uh, loopback interface or interface VLAN the command for you to do that is cat web source interface or you can use a cat web source IP address. So you can choose either one of them. Next, we need to add the AP in an offline mode, uh, meaning that you can pre-configure what type of uh, AP authentication that you are going to use. Uh, normally, we can actually use the MAC authentication or the sequence number authentication. It's a choice. I'll show you how you can configure that. Uh, here we can configure the uh, AP uh, manually. So you can type AP ID, then you have the AP ID uh, number 1 to 8000 plus. Then you can type the type ID, AP type, AP MAC address, AP sequence number. Uh, these are the command that you can use and the AP name. Then you go into the AP ID and you add this into the group that we created early on. So for you to view all this configuration, you can use this command called display AP or, or you can display AP followed by the AP group. So after the AP has been configured, now we configure the second configuration, which is configuring the radio. First, we go into the AP ID, okay, the ID that we have early on, then we go to the radio, radio ID. You can specify the channel, okay, either 20 megahertz, 40, minus 40 plus 18 megahertz or 160 megahertz, okay, and this one will cause some disruption you can actually say yes or you can use uh, another option is to do a channel binding 80 plus 80. you also can configure the antenna gain these are these are all the optional command for you to configure the radio you also can configure the radio power by using this command called EIRP. Uh, EIRP basically is to configure your radio power and you also can configure your distance by using a command coverage distance and you also can configure the frequency either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Then you also can configure the radio profiles for the 2 gigahertz, give them a group name so it's easier for us to uh, use the AP group name and we can actually bind the profiles into the groups. Now this is an important configuration where we come to a stage to configure our virtual AP. So on the virtual AP, we give them a profile name using the command called VAP-profile name. Then we can configure our profile to use either direct forward or using tunnel. Remember that I mentioned about the CAT web tunnel. You have two forwarding mode. This is where you can specify that, uh, which is under the VAP. Then you can specify the service VLAN to pre-configure the VLAN in your switch first. Here, we also need to configure our security profiles. If you are not configuring any security profile, you can see that by default, the security profile is default or default WDS and default mesh are available in the system. And finally, you are going to bind the uh, security profile with the VAP. Okay, so this is a VAP profile that we create early on. And under the VAP, we bind this security profile that we created into the VAP profile. 
Step number five under the VAP is to configure our SSID. Here you create a SSID profile, you give them a name, and uh, this is the SSID name, this is a profile name, and you are going to bind the SSID profile name to your VAP profile again. All right, as you can see that all these are the template that we can actually create. So we can actually reuse the VAP profile name. Step number six is to bind the VIP profile. We have the AP group name that earlier on we create. Then we bind the VIP profile under the group. And uh, once we have done that, we can verify the virtual AP by using a command called display VAP. If you know the group name, you type else you can type just VAP, display VAP all. Okay, so those are the uh, command in a glance. I don't expect that you can memorize all the command. Not to worry because I'm going to show you uh, the configuration. Here we have a topology. This topology consists of one AC, one AP. We have the SDA over here. Then I have a switch. This is the uh, access switch that we have. And we also have a distribution switch. Uh, take note here that we have the VLAN, VLAN 100 and VLAN 101. So let's look into the requirement. So for the VLAN 100, this is a management VLAN. So this is a management VLAN and the IP address is 1023.100.1. Then we also have a service VLAN. This is our data, VLAN 101, which is 1023.101.1. We configure a DHCP. The DHCP is configured on the AC and the uh, DHCP is to assign IP address to AP. Then we also have S2. So this is an S2. S2 also configured as a DHCP, but it's assigning IP address for STA. So now we have two DHCP, one for uh, the AP, another one for the, DH, uh, the uh, uh, STA. And these are the address pool. So we have 100 for the management VLAN and 101 for the STA. The IP address of the AC is 100.1. The group name is called AP Group 1. The VIP profile is called WLAN-NET. The country code is CN. But since CN is a default, I'm going to change it to MY later on on the lab. So this is my SSID. The name of your VIP profile and the SSID is the same. This is a policy that we are using. We are using WPA, WPA2 plus PSK plus AES and the password is A123456. So this is our security profile and we also have the uh, VIP profile. The VIP profile is called WLAN NAN and we are using a tunnel forwarding. The VLAN for the service is 101 and this is our uh, SSID profile name that is bind to the WLAN net. Now this is the lab that we are going to construct. So I'm going to do a demonstration on how you can do this.